Oh boy, the leak of all leaks from the FTC regarding Microsoft and Phil Spencer is here. And there are some shocking revolutions from a Xbox Series X mid-gen all digital refresh, brand new controller, haptic feedback, gyro, so much stuff happening. Apparently launching next year to a next gen system that has ai cloud technology built into it with always online and probably the biggest thing that you guys want me to talk about and that is microsoft and phil spencer wanting to acquire nintendo back in 2020 but play this slow game as in they're still looking to buy nintendo at this point or trying to find a way to get nintendo Goodness gracious, this is a major one. And I'm pretty sure Microsoft, Phil Spencer, Sarah Bond, them dropping down in Tokyo at this point or in Japan at this point for the Tokyo Game Show. They have woken up to a rude awakening when it comes down to these leaks. And man, it is just wild. And we're going to talk about all of that and what it means for you. But before we do, what's good, everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first now let's go ahead and first jump into it when it comes to microsoft's next generation system and their current generation system refresh i'm not going to spend too much time with this guys just because if you want to see the full detailed leaks and specs and what's going on there you can check out my twitter page or I'll have a couple slides for you guys right here. Essentially, it's a Xbox Series X that's reform factored instead of a square. It's a cylinder, and it's got a bunch of upgrades across the board. So it's got better Wi-Fi and different things like that. So that's pretty cool, but the only problem is that it's all digital. That's the huge problem. And the way that they're making the marketing look, it's like they're taking away physical games and saying, oh, look, better for us, or trying to convince consumers with with this codename Brooklyn Xbox Series X. So that's the problem there, especially when you have an Xbox Series X that is the same price and it can play physical games, but they're trying to weasel people into thinking that an all digital system is better for them. But hey, it is what it is on that front. Also the new controller, I do wanna get that Xbox Series X controller. That does look pretty good. I think it's called like Sabile or something like that, the code name. But yeah, that's coming apparently in 2024. Microsoft's next gen has also leaked. And once again, this has like AI cloud technology built into it. Whether you're a developer, you can do AI game testing and stuff like that. It's pretty wild what they wanna do, but essentially it's going to be a hybrid platform with the cloud and hardware. And it's doing that in tandem when it comes to playing a game, downloading it, and then using cloud technology simultaneously to improve the limit of what a game can do so think they're marketing for crackdown but actually working this time across every single game now there's a lot more like i said and if you want to know more about those leaks it's on my twitter page you guys can check it out it's all there and once again i have the leaks for you guys in terms of the slides here but i want to get into the big thing and that is what phil spencer had to say about nintendo and him wanting to acquire nintendo and his talk surrounding it it's not just him wanting to acquire nintendo i think a lot of companies would love to acquire nintendo if they could i think apple would i think amazon would i think google would i think lots of companies would love to be able to get nintendo but it's the way that phil spencer says he's going to do it and when he did it at the height or pinnacle of nintendo's dominance with the nintendo switch so let's go ahead and jump into the email here that phil spencer sent and this comes from phil spencer to chris uh Caposella, and i might be saying these names wrong and takeshi numoto so this was back on august 6th 2020 and phil was up early in the morning man or at least late more like it it was 12:03 a.m it seems so he said random thought phil spencer up can't sleep <laughs> can't sleep he's up really early or really late and he can't sleep and he has a random thought about his dream maybe he woke up in a cold sweat or maybe he woke up he was smiling and was like oh my gosh if we were able to do this but anyway let's go ahead and get into it. he says takeshi i totally agree that nintendo is the prime asset 
for us in gaming. And today, gaming is our most likely path to consumer relevance. I've had numerous conversations with the LT of Nintendo about tighter collaboration, and I feel if any US company would have a chance with Nintendo, we would probably in the best position. The unfortunate or fortunate for Nintendo situation is that Nintendo is sitting on a big pile of cash. They have a BOD that until recently has not pushed for further increases in market growth or stock appreciation. That's board of directors for those that are wondering. I say, quote, until recently, as our former MSBOD member, Value Act, has been heavily acquiring shares of Nintendo, and he links an article there with that, and I've kept in touch with Mason Morift as he's been acquiring. It's likely he will be pushing for more from Nintendo stock, which could create opportunities for us. Without that catalyst, I don't see an angle to a near-term mutual agreeable merger of Nintendo and MS, and I don't think a hostile action would be a good move, so we are playing the long game. But our BOD has seen the full write-up on Nintendo and Valve, and they are fully supportive on either if an opportunity arises as I am. Confidentially, we have two fairly active M&A discussions in gaming right now, Warner Bros. Interactive and ZeniMax. I took ZeniMax to the BOD last week, and prior to the BOD discussion, I asked Amy and Satea if they wanted me to slow either or both of these given the TikTok discussions, and they both emphatically told me no. They are fine doing all three of these if the deals make sense. I won't say Warner Bros. or Zenny is Nintendo, but both are for sale and are gettable by us if things align. Biggest obstacle in Warner Bros. is IP ownership. We wouldn't own any of the IP, which hurts long-term flexibility, and the only obstacle on Zenny is valuation expectations of founders. But I think it's likely one or both of these happen, which will help us continue to double down on our gaming relevance. To give a sense of scale, ZeniMax is about the size of our current first-party studios org, so that would be doubling our content assets. Downside is it's more core, less broad, not mobile, more North American slash European, etc. I love this discussion and value you looking at the opportunities here. At some point, getting Nintendo would be a career moment, and I honestly believe a good move for both companies. It's just taking a long time for Nintendo to see that their future exists off of their own hardware. A long time, dot, 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 dot smiley face phil goodness gracious this is explosive phil spender big phil remember this is back in 2020 when they were looking at buying a bunch and making a huge splash and you see somewhat the desperation that phil spencer is going through here listen microsoft has been last placed in terms of console relevance in terms of console sales every single gen but the original gen they came in with the sixth generation where they got second place beating out nintendo but losing heavily to sony and then since then it's pretty much been last place every single time so they're trying to build their relevance but the way that they're trying to do it here with these massive acquisitions even all the way up to nintendo the consolidation here the goal in saying you know what they don't deserve or maybe they shouldn't be on their own platform we should have them it's taking them a long time that they shouldn't be making hardware even though at the time the switch was a system that essentially was galvanizing that essentially was revitalizing so many different markets especially in Asia with the Japanese market being revitalized as traditional home consoles have been declining and losing out to portable based systems for a while. Nintendo comes in with this switch, a hybrid between portable and home console, and it's ingenious as it really speaks to people that have that type of lifestyle and not just in Japan or Asia, but pretty much everywhere around the world. And when you have multiple different manufacturers, when you have three manufacturers all competing, that gets us better games 
games that gives us more options that gives us more flexibility as a consumer and phil spencer is doing his best and is trying so hard to take that option away this is not good now people have talked about whether phil spencer and his acquisition of trying to get sega or trying to get zenimax which is bethesda and everything like that trying to get warner bros trying to get all these companies activision blizzard all this different type of stuff is it good or bad for the industry but as you can see with this leaked email this is not good this is not good and he even says it when it comes down to nintendo he even says it in the email before i get people sitting there and saying no it's good it's good because when i made my video on sega a lot of you guys were very upset and saying you're just a fanboy and calling me names but he literally even says it in the email here i'm gonna go in and repeat what he has to say he says the unfortunate or fortunate for nintendo situation is that nintendo is sitting on a big pile of cash they have a board of directors that until recently has not pushed for further increases in market growth or stock appreciation you see what i'm saying there phil spencer is essentially admitting hey you know what they're fine where they at they want to be independent it's more money for the people that are dealing with there so we just can't come in and just take them over or they're not dealing with issues to where we can swoop in and get them look at what he just says here guys he's wanting to acquire everything he's wanting to cut down and consolidate the market I don't think that's good for consumers if we have less options to where to buy hardware, less options to where we're going to get our software from. When you consolidate it and make it to where it's only one or two companies, they can do certain things that would be looked at as anti-consumer. That word that people love to throw around all the time when it comes to Nintendo. So Phil Spencer's sitting here and saying that it's gonna be the long game and he's trying to acquire them and this is the reason why that he's been so buddy buddy with them and giving them certain games and all that. It's essentially to butter them up over the course of a long time and acquire them at some point. Wow, just wow. The next meeting with Nintendo, I would love to be in that room just to see what Phil Spencer has to say because you know, you know, Nintendo's ninjas have already pounced on this and have seen what is going on. And I don't know Nintendo's internal policy for dealing with stuff like this, but I would expect that they're not too happy because I would expect that Nintendo's thinking like, hey, they want to be more buddies so we can have a mutual agreement to make more money like with Minecraft, right? Or like with Moon Studios and and the Ori in the Blind Forest. Everybody just makes more money. But in all actuality, you're just trying to soften them up to hit them with that body blow and knock them out and acquire them, which Nintendo obviously wouldn't want to be acquired by an American company. This is just wild and very interesting. And Phil Spencer, I think he would have to address this at some point, or at least maybe somebody asked him a question. Maybe he says something, maybe he doesn't, but it's wild to me that this would be something that Phil Spencer would think that he'd be able to do but apparently it's the long game so over the course of time but you saw their plans for the future all digital ai cloud-based technology no physical games this is what they want i'm not sure if nintendo or if i want nintendo to be a part of that but you never know what's going to happen in the future i don't think phil spencer is going to be able to acquire nintendo I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I think that Nintendo is doing obviously extremely well and their next platform is probably going to do extremely well. So I don't really think that there's going to be an opportunity at this point. It's going to have to come if they have some type of disaster in the future, like the Wii U situation, right? So if they have like one platform that completely flops, I think that's when their opportunity will be to acquire Nintendo. Microsoft has tried before in the past and failed when it comes back to, I think it was like the 2000s or something like that, early 2000s before they made the Xbox. And I think at this point, they'd have to wait till something really bad to happen and where Nintendo only has one system, right? Like with the Wii U and the 3DS, they had the 3DS to help back them up. But if something like that happened in the far future, I think that's when Microsoft could swoop in or another company could swoop in and get Nintendo but that's something that we have to wait and see even happens. I don't think it'll happen anytime soon, but you never know what's gonna happen in the distant future. Maybe that's what Phil Spencer is looking at here. But what are your thoughts with this, guys, when it comes to all of Microsoft's leaks and everything here? I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, click that notification bell, and check out my other videos 
on Nintendo right here on screen. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you for the next one. Peace.